How to connect Facebook and Instagram to Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your Facebook account and your Instagram account to Shopify. Adding Facebook or Instagram to your sales channels can be a great way for you to broadcast your products or to display your products to a wider variety of audiences. Plus, you can also find some audiences that might not have been looking for your product but just come across it on their social media platforms and then they can become your returning customers. So let's go into step by step how you can do that. The first thing you have to do is click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on your Shopify dashboard, you want to click on apps and sales channels on the left bar. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on Shopify app store on the top right. And once you open up the Shopify app store from here, you just want to search for meta. So just search for meta over here. And once you search for meta, which is basically the name for Instagram and Facebook combined, you will see the first application after the ads is going to be Facebook and Instagram. Simply click on this application and you will see it will be this application. The developer should be of meta. And then you will see this is Facebook's actual develop application that is integratable with Shopify. And this plugin will enable you to promote your business directly from Shopify to Facebook and Instagram. Now, to get started, simply click on install over here. And once you click on install, you will be led to your installation page on Shopify. Once your installation page on Shopify has opened up, click on add sales channel on the top right. Once you click on this, you can get started with adding your products to Instagram and Shopify. So let's wait for our installation to be completed. Now, once your installation is completed, you will see Facebook and Instagram tab will open up. And on the left, you will have Facebook and Instagram shown. I like to click on this pin icon simply to make it easier for me to access this over and over again. Now, after this, you can get started with setting up Facebook and Instagram. To do this, the first thing you have to do is click on start setup and then you're going to click on connect account. Now make sure that the Facebook account that has been logged in on your device is the Facebook account you want to link to your Shopify store. Then you have your business account. This is going to be your Facebook business account. Usually this is reflected on your Facebook page for your business. So make sure that you have created a Facebook page for your business. Now, I'm just going to click on connect because I previously have created this sample. Now, after that, you have to choose your preference. The recommended preference is enhanced simply because this enables you to find customers with similar interests. However, you can also target a newer audience. You also are going to be sharing your data with Facebook whenever you enable this. Now, after that, just click on save over here. And then after that, you can see over here that you can connect a pixel to track customer behavior. And you can click on connect over here to make sure that you are able to predict your customer's behavior. After that, you're just going to agree to the terms and condition and click on submit for review. After that, this will finalize your channel setup. So this will create a new sales channel for you to start advertising on Facebook and Instagram. Now, after you set up your basic Facebook and Instagram, when this is completed, we're going to take a look at how you can enable your products to be shown on Facebook and Instagram or how you can import your pre-existing point of sale sales channel or online sales channel products into your Facebook and Instagram sales channel. Now, it doesn't take a lot for Facebook and Instagram to submit your request. Just like that, in a couple of minutes, our products have been added. So now I can get started with actually setting this up. Click on Facebook and Instagram on your left tool panel and you can start running ads as well, but more on that later. Now you will see connected product catalog. This is your Shopify product catalog and you have your synced product. You all synced products. Currently, none of our products are synced. So to do this, all you have to do is click on product on the top left. Once you click on product on the top left, you will be able to see different sales channels for all of these products. This is displayed on this particular column over here. You guys can see these items have three sales channels, which means that they are available on all three of my sales channels, such as our online store, point of sale system, and Facebook and Instagram. However, if this is only showing one for you, then we're going to include our new sales channel. So let's take this item as an example. You guys can see that this is only available on one sales channel. 
So what we're going to do is we can click on this item over here and click on edit. Now, after we click on this item, just take it off. And then on the bottom, just click on these three dots on the right side. After you click on these three dots on the right side, you will see a bunch of different options. The third option is include in sales channel. You're going to click on this. And once you click on this, you will have the different options. Let's say I want to sell this on my online store and Facebook and Instagram. Simply click on include products over here. And then this can be included into your Facebook and Instagram directory of products. After some time, your products will be synced into Facebook and Instagram, and you will easily be able to see. You will see one product has been approved. So our product that we just added has been approved, and we can click on view products over here to take a look at how our products have been enabled. Now you guys can see some of our other products are having errors. So to make it simpler for me to add all of my products to Facebook and Instagram, simply click on the top left over here and this will select all of the products. Once all of your products are selected, simply click on these three dots on the bottom right, and then click on include in sales channel once more. Then click on include products, and then your products will be included. If you have a larger catalog, then you might have some issues in syncing up your products, and this can make it easier for you to sync up products instantaneously. Now let's refresh our Shopify store and then we can actually go on ahead and take a look at Facebook and Instagram ads. So you guys can see that currently we have our products that still are not getting synced right now, but we can sync them later on as well. But below that you have your connected product catalog. And if you just click on the Shopify product catalog, this will open up Meta. And in Meta, you can see your items in your catalog. So I don't have to set up all of my individual products on Facebook on the Meta platform. Instead, directly my products are imported like so. Once I've done this, I can even add some more attributes directly over here as well. Now, after we have created our products and they have been connected to Facebook and Instagram, you might want to run some ads. And to do this, you don't necessarily have to go to Meta. Now you can just click on create ad over here and this will open up the ads manager on Facebook for you and you can start building campaigns. So you can click on get started over here to start building detailed Facebook marketplace campaigns or Facebook and Instagram campaigns. Now to view all of your Shopify items, just go into your meta business account and go into your commerce manager. Over here, you're going to be able to see your Shopify product catalog. However, make sure that this is linked to your business account, because if you link this to your personal account, you are not going to be able to um, properly promote them because you're supposed to link them to your business. So make sure you already have created your account for your business using your business name. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out.